Even if God is going to do it, God will follow process and principle. I have come to shock somebody. When God wants to intervene in an hopeless situation, he breaks protocol. May protocol be broken for your sake. May that money you need that will make you testify, may it find its way to your pocket. You say, they will say, no long story. May your miracle be no long story. Okay, maybe you are not saying it. May my miracle be no long story. How many of you have shared testimonies that you want to explain, but you cannot explain? May that be our testimony. May too good to be true miracle be your portion. In the name of Jesus. So, some of you youth, you know, one young man shared a recording. He said, ah, oh boy, when they invited me to your church, I was tired. How many of you remember that recording? He said, as I came for the program, he said, ah, oh boy, I don't get admission, no. God is still in the business. May there be commotion of testimony. Before the end of this year, may you see the hand of God. In the name of Jesus. Half of all the problems people have in Africa is money. Marriage that is not sweet is money. Relationship that is not working is money. Fight in the family is money. Eh? Landlord is fight between brothers is you see. There are bigger problems in life than for us to be fighting for money. Jesus said the life of a man consists not in the abundance of the things. There was a time they went to Jesus and they said, come and share property for us. He said, who made me property sharer? May you not have money problem. See the way they are saying the amen. I said, may you not have money problem. That the boy years ago said they said Bill Gates is the richest, and he smiled. Do you know what he said? And it's real. He smiled. He said, "Well, I'm not arguing if they say Bill Gates is the richest." He said, "But I shall know that if I stand here and I said I need shoe, do you know how many shoe will come on this altar? I don't think Bill Gates can command shoe like that, and shoe will come." I think Obi Kubana was the one that was doing his mother's burial or father's burial one time. And they gave him 100 and how many cows? I say, may you not have money problem. You see, there are some people, if they say they want to do birthday, the gift will be too much. If they say they want to do wedding, the gift will be too much. I am praying again. You see, I know everybody is not on the same level. But for that one person, I say, you will not have money problem. Can I shock you again? You see this prophetic, I'm just borrowing it. Oh. I'm borrowing this prophetic, sharp, sharp. I just want to quickly better somebody's life before I go to the word. Jesus said, in this world you will have tribulation. Can I shock you? Money is not part of the tribulation you are supposed to be having. The tribulation is tribulation of your faith. Uh, somebody is not hearing me. That you are a billionaire and people are angry that you are going to church. That you are a billionaire and people are saying instead of you to be enjoying your life, you are saying Jesus, Jesus. It is, you, you, you've not heard it, it is called persecution of faith, not persecution. Somebody is not hearing me. 
So because you identified with Christ, people are angry that you identified with Christ. It's not that you have money problem. Is somebody listening to me? That's why I look at people, they say, hey, okay, God wants to punish you. He now use money. Mm-mm, God does not use money to punish. You will not lack. So in case somebody is saying, I know the will of God. The will of God is that you will not beg. Amen. Now, I want you to listen very well because I, by the grace of God, am a teacher. And when God said he's going to do something, I told them, when he told Abraham, come out of your father's land into a land that I will show you, that is the pattern of God. But that land that he was going to show them, they needed instruction. Help me take it down a little bit. They needed instruction every step of the way. Continue to play, but just take it down. Every step, they needed what? Instruction. So, I was prophesying here one day, just like I just finished prophesying. And I said that don't let opportunity pass you by. As I have prophesied, begin to become sensitive. Then my wife, who knew that there is a place of being an husband, there is a place of being a friend, that there is a place of being a prophet, decided to grab hold on the prophecy. So somebody just came to me and said, eh, I need this, I need this. And I said, ah, I'm not sure my wife will be able to do it though. I have already spoiled the business. And as I said, oh yeah, now we stand and talk to my wife. As the person spoke to my wife, my wife said, I can do it though. Bam, 250,000 era contract. Is somebody listening to me? I am praying for somebody here. May your eyes be open to opportunities. <laughs> it's not that prayers are not answered though. Many people are just not sensitive. So, I spoke to those who were here on Thursday and in case you were not here on Thursday, you need to get the message. Now, listen to this. Any Christianity that refuses to teach responsibility will remain a liability for those who practice such. If there is any Christianity anywhere that doesn't teach responsibility, then we'll be responsible for people full of liability. Without responsibility, what is left is liability. Is somebody listening to me? Whatever you call practice of faith that tells you there is no responsibility is an invitation to liability. You know what liability are? Nobody wants to carry a liability in their life. It's better to have assets than liabilities. Because the prony thing about liability is if you don't pay for them today, you will pay for them tomorrow. And they will continue to consume whatever you might think you have an asset, as an asset. So, on Thursday, I told us that you are absolutely responsible for the outcome of your life. The outcome of your life is your responsibility. Many think that witches and wizards are responsible. You see, witches and wizards are only responsible for those who are not in Christ. The Bible said, if any man be in Christ, yet he escape. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you see people like us, what do you do? Our case is different. They don't treat... You see, I told you the story of somebody that was working in my office. They kidnapped him, took him to Ondo from Mowebafo. And when they were killing others, when it was his turn, they said, tell us the truth. Your father is an abalist. He said, my father is not an abalist. They said, no, this one cannot be used. They called the auger. They packed his phone, including his SIM card. Oh, yeah, come, live here. Make sure you don't. It's not, you know, I've been hearing that kind of testimony. But this particular one is somebody that I know. And somebody think we are all disabled. We are not all disabled. He's not a pastor. The person I'm talking is is a driver. They say, oh yeah, come and go, come and go, come and go, come and go, come and go. We don't want trouble. 
Praise God. So, many people think it's one witch. A Christian does not have a witch problem. He has responsibility problem. Because to them that has received him, he gave them power to become sons of the living God. Hey, where are sons of God living? Far above principalities and powers and over what? All. Everybody say all. He said all the power of the enemy. Uh, did you not read your Bible? He said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. He said the righteous run into it. And they are going to be saved. They are going to be saved. What did the Bible say? They are... What made them save their location? As long as they are in Christ, they are safe. What do you need for safety? Be in Christ. Years ago, somebody was disturbing me. Come and pray, come and pray, come and pray. No, no. Bring a demon possessed person to church. He is safe. Is somebody listening to me? For example, if you are under the covering of this ministry, I was talking to somebody yesterday. I say, I don't take responsibility for another person's church member, but as long as they are, they are in this church, I take responsibility for their life. And even God knows that I'm setting him up. The name of the Lord is Yeshua Banker. Are you hearing me? So any Christianity that does not teach you responsibility is a liability. Oh. There is a responsibility. And we have come into a realm where we are not of the world even though we are in the world. And that is what responsibility is. That before now, somebody was the one controlling you. You remember when I was teaching you about limitation? I said limitations are things that put restrictions on you. Now, when you are broken free from limitations, it means there is no longer anybody limiting you. You are the one limiting yourself. That was what I taught you on Thursday. Because once a man is free from limitation, the next dimension is that may he not limit himself. Say, I refuse to limit myself. And the only way you refuse to limit yourself is to take responsibility. Are we all following? The only way you can refuse to limit yourself is what? So to limit yourself is refusal and failure to take responsibility. Jesus said to the disciples, how long will I be with you? Because they couldn't cast out demons. It means it is all in you. Hey! Did you remember the story of when Peter said, Master, if it is you that is walking on water, beckon me to come. What did Jesus Christ do? Come! What did Peter do? He walked. And a few minutes, he started sinking. Did Jesus say, demons are here? That's why you are sinking. Did Jesus say, your sin is why you are sinking. Did Jesus say, eh, the enemy is in your father's house? That's why you are sinking. What did he ask Peter? Why did you doubt? It was not Peter that was responsible to walk on water, but it was Peter that was responsible for why he was sinking. Is somebody listening to me? The only person that can stop you is you. So responsibility is ability to take, to respond to an ability. You have an ability, but you must respond appropriately to the demand of that ability. You must come into that dimension some of us come to. Say, as I am. No power. No witch. No demon. Big or small can tamper with my life. Say, I am too hot for them to handle. Are you hearing me? That means you have broken towards human limitation. Praise God. Now, I wrote something in my note very striking. Please take the drums away. I, I wrote something in my notes. 
Some of you think you are bad. Some of you think you are a sinner. But guess what? They are badder sinner than you, if there is anything like that in English. They are more irresponsible people than you. Is it background? We have people with more terrible background than yours. Is it English? Some people cannot even speak. You, you can still say go. Some people, they come, go, call. You see, I have discovered that all of the limitations we put on ourselves are not our problem. It is our failure to take responsibility. What is the difference? Hey, you, you kiss the man. You carried it on your head as your guilt. Some people have committed terrible sin more than you. If somebody listen, touch your neighbor, say, wake up. Your sin is not stopping you. It is you that is stopping you. Oh, should I preach it again? Should I preach it again? Praise God. Your background is not your problem. Stop thinking that ah, I have done it wrong. You think you are poor? They are poorer people. Responsibility. Everybody say responsibility. So I said responsibility is ability to respond. You see, in this life, nothing is going to wake up all of a sudden and just deliver anything into your hands. Nothing. 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 You are the one that will say, enough is enough. So don't follow that Christianity that will teach you that you don't have to do anything. Touch your neighbor and say you have to do a lot of things. If you don't want to sink like Peter, make sure you don't doubt. Even though Jesus was with him, he was still going to doubt and he was going to sink in front of Jesus. Guess what? As he was sinking, he stretched forth his hand and said, Master, help me. He could have died if he did not cry, Master. That's why many Christians are dying because they did not cry for help. They are saying, God, can't you see me? Can't you see me? It's not prayer. Oh, somebody is not hearing me. Somebody say, Why is God waiting for us to give? Somebody, another person asks him, Why did you have a mouth? You think your mouth is for eating? Did you not read your Bible? Your Bible said, ask and you shall. It is a law. It is what? A law. A man named Jabez was conceived out of a sorrowful circumstance. And they named him Jabez. But the guy, even though he could not do anything about how he was named, he could do something about the change of destiny. He said, God, enlarge my coast. Make something out of my life. Can somebody quickly pray? In 2024, I will never be small. I see myself achieve great things. Open your mouth and quickly pray. I don't know who that prayer is for. Ah, some people are not praying. If you believe it, you will pray it. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You see, I have walked with people and I have been there. You know, some of us, we have been so battered by life that we cannot think big. 
Right? Am I correct? Am I correct? Am I correct? You know a young man named Christopher. You know him. And that young man was Bebeto. But those days when all of us were buying car according to our... The guy said, the only car we buy is an Xterra Jeep. I knew his salary because I was close to the HR. But you see, he, even when he saw some of us that we were buying our car, he kept saying the same thing. He kept saying the same thing. And lo and behold, the element of the heart had to work for the favor of what he said with his mouth. There is power in what you declare with your mouth. It's not what you declare once, so. Because what will be weighed is the collection of the positive you have said against the negative. Can you pray that prayer again? You see, when I tell you to pray this prayer, let me tell you. You see, prayer is, Father, I want a car. God has heard you. You see, all the, Father, I want a cow. I don't want to suffer. I want a cow. I don't want to suffer. That one is not for God. It's for you. So that your spirit, your soul, your body, everything can hear it. It's not wrong in prayer. Nobody did not hear me. You see, sometimes you have believed too much lie that you have to repeat the truth strong enough to counter the lie that you have believed. So when you see some of us praying with anger, we are praying not, our anger is not at God. Our anger is so that we can tell ourselves because the number of lies we have believed are so strong. Can somebody pray? Look, imagine, this is the way I told my mother. I said, the day when she was taking us at a very young age around the building that was on the foundation, I was waiting on God to see if he was going to fail. So at a particular time when we had completed the upstairs and they said my mother wanted to die, I was waiting for her to die. Because the song we sang was the hand of Zerubbabel that started the house must surely accomplish it. If that word did not come to pass, then I'm watching God. It's not like I'm going to stop doubting God. Who, are you hearing me? But I'm just watching. I was young and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken the righteous. So imagine you are praying for 2024. Can anything stop you from entering 2024? Way I think. There was a time I was struggling in my office. And I said, can the blessings of God suddenly become a cause? You see, I don't thank God for something and go and sorrow over it because I know it is already in the hands of God. Can somebody pray concerning 2024 again? God already gave me an hint of what is going to happen. Begin to describe the great and mighty things that will happen to you in that year. Quickly pray. Don't pray by your understanding. Pray from the Spirit and the words that I speak to you. That I'm going to do great things. Great and wonderful things will happen to me. It will be so mighty that without me opening my mouth, people will come to my God. 2024 will be a year of outstanding solution. I will not only be waiting on God, but men will come to me for solution. And the God in me will provide it. I'm going to see a great version of myself like never before. Where the gospel of the Lord is enhanced like never before. Where he's touching the nations of the head. Touching the ends of the head. We are bringing smiles to people. The nonsense of suicide. The nonsense of depression. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest to destroy all the works of the enemy. In 2024, we are going to crush. We are going to destroy. We are going to partner with the Holy Spirit and destroy every evil works of the enemy. Bigger and better. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. There was a saying that says, if men can pray, there is a God that can answer. So what is stopping the request? Men must pray. Are you hearing me? Look, I am telling you true testimony and I lie not. I can tell you significant moments when things changed. But the problem is ability to align yourself to pray. Nothing changes until men raises their voice of prayer. So whenever I have those encounter the Mount Sinai encounter 
I always tell God after I have finished that thank you for organizing and instigating this prayer so that you can answer. Is somebody listening to me? Because if men don't pray it, there is no God to answer it. What God does on earth requires the partnership of men. And that is where responsibility comes in. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I am ready for what you have to do. What you have to do, I am ready. I was sharing with my mom. And some of you heard the testimony I said about my eldest sister. And I put it this way to her. I said, there is none of us that did not chop out of our money. So they said she was not supposed to study and go to school. If she did not go, we, all of us that chop our money we would have suffered. The first piece of five suits that I bought when I started working in the bank it was this same person. You see, why you cannot fail, why you must not fail is because destinies are attached to you. Bigger than your brothers and your sisters somebody here, you will put a smile on millions of faces. Are you hearing me? Before now, you were living for yourself. But you are coming to a realm where it is not just about you. If it was about Jesus, he would not die on the cross. I hope you know. What was the purpose of your father if it's possible? If God answers that prayer, we are doomed. If it's possible, let this cup pass over me. You see, some of you are praying that God just give me one room apartment, just give me a bungalow in Akute, and give me a good car, we'll be managing. God said, I will not answer. I will not answer. <laughs> Somebody, you don't understand. There are some, God said, I will not answer. I am going to give you a mansion. Somebody say, Ah, no, God is not a God of. Mm -mm. So that somebody will learn that you came out from nothing and you became something. And through you, they will follow your testimony. Do you know how many people the story of David inspired? The, the, you, you see, the elder brother, the elder brother of David was looking very fine. So that even the prophet was deceived. He said, surely this must be the anointed of the Lord. Surely. Today, as I speak, the rejected stone has become the cornerstone. Now, listen very well. I check the word being responsible. It means an having an obligation to do and have control over something. Having an obligation to do and have control over something. So, when I'm telling you be responsible for the outcome of your life, there are certain things that are within your control. What you pray about is within your control. How you pray about this is within your control. What you plan for is within your control. There are certain things that are within your control. God is not going to do for man what he can do for himself. Is simple, is somebody listening to me? You are the one that will take the steps. You have to make the move. Make the move. One of my favorite scriptures. Matthew chapter 7 verse 24. He said, he who hears this saying of mine and what? Dust them. He's one of my favorite scripture. Hears this saying of mine and dust them. Because in the kingdom, action is important. In the kingdom, action is what? Important. Hey! Please, how many of you have heard motivational speaker or Christian speakers? tell you that they put the map of the world in their room. Have you heard that kind of thing before? When I was growing up, my other brother bought, you know, this, this round board that has map. And we only vision. Don't, don't make mistake and think anybody just arrived where they are. Oh. The present you see of people is the picture they had from their past. I, I believe I'm going to go around the world. Do you even know where Kuwait is? Oman, Nko. 
Sisi liko. Around the world. So my people of Australia wa. He said, write it down. It may tarry, but it will come to pass. You see, so when was the last time that you wanted to pray to God? You were scared on behalf of God. Have you ever done that? I've done it before. They say, ask for something. I'm like, ah, no, God, just give me one million first. Because if I ask you for one billion, you might not be able to do it. Do I have witness in the house? Today, remind me before we leave, we are going to ask for big things. Eh? Uh, or should we ask now? Kato Bagby. But I don't like, you see, I like demonstrated faith, real faith. The way I'm looking at you, you are, you are, not, you are not even looking like, you are not even looking like you have any big thing you want to ask. Some of you, some of you, the kind of things you want to ask, there are things that I can put my hand. Have you watched that movie or that guy that was saying, give me DVD, 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 DVD. And the rich man beside him said, oh God, this guy cannot allow me to pray. He stopped him. He said, young man, what do you want? He said, I want DVD. He said, how much is the DVD? He said, 15,000. He brought out money. He said, think, let God hear us. You see, some of us, the problem we have, men can solve them. Is somebody going to ask God for big things? I mean big things. Big things that you are just, you are not going, you are just going to fold your hands and you will. It's just a matter of time. Big things that you can follow up. Real dreams. You know there are some dreams that you have that are scary. You cannot share with people because they will laugh at you. You walk on when you are asking, you are laughing at yourself. It's like you are asking that God give me a husband that will love me, that will spend on me, that will take care of me. You know that if you ask us, we will give you counsel of how your behavior is not good. How you don't deserve that kind of man. His sisters with me. But the secret of God is what you cannot tell man, you can tell God. Are we ready? Or should I continue? Oh yeah, quickly ask for big things from God. Big things. It could be over your family. It could be over your wife. It could be over your children. Big thing. Knowing fully well that there is nothing too big for God. It could be over that lost child. It could be about that all repentant husband. Ah, uh, yeah. Somebody is praying. Oluwa. Let my husband be saved. Make him. A pastor. Ah. But the guy that they are praying for is not even in church. Is there anything too hard for God to do? You are not talking to man. You are talking to God. He said you have not come to, to, to an assembly where your voice cannot be heard. You have come to Mount Zion. To the city of the living God. Is there anything too hard for me? Some of us without lobbying. We are going to be here preaching this gospel. The world will come to us. We are not going to run after the world. Our love is with the Father. We won't have anything to eat. No strategy. God himself is the announcer of men. Our own hope of help is from above, not from abroad. I'm drawing the nations of the head to this place. They will come. They will come. Because as Jesus is lifted, they are coming. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So, James chapter 1 verse 22. He said, be ye not hearers only. But doers of the word. He said, when you are not a doer. And you are an error, you are deceiving your own self. You are deceiving what? Your own self. I read the message version. The message version said, Don't fool yourself into thinking you are a listener. When you are not letting the word going into one ear and coming out from the other, be doers. 
be doers. One day I was talking to my wife. You know, I've always, you see, she was in the classroom in the bush and I was saying, you are a commissioner. Many of you are witnesses here in the church. I was saying it. We were, called, we, we were operating by the principle of the things that be not as though they were. So when God was going to transport her from the classroom into a ministry, we were not surprised. Because those things have been spoken of. I'm telling you, some of you are as old as this ministry is. You know that's when I've been saying this. And yet, she was in the classroom. She was in the bush. Even I made sure that even when I'm with her personally, I'll be calling her. She had gone through many tests, but I still kept calling her. Because if you put it in your mouth, it will not fail. Don't just be people who hear the word of God. I just told you now to ask for big things. You see, if you believe it, you will act it. If you believe it, you will act it. Some of you know me closely. You cannot say the life that I live in church is deep. You, it, it, this is what you get, even as friends. We are consistent with our declaration. Is somebody listening to me? You must be found consistent with your declaration. So that even in the example, you cannot be poor. It is all right if men don't believe you, if they don't understand you. But be convicted in your heart that you will not allow anything in life to limit you. So when you hear the word of God from this moment of no limit, make sure you put it in your heart to do it. He said the same word that produced in us did not produce in them. Because when they heard it, they did not do anything about it. Is somebody listening to me? So I want you to begin to do something with the word you have heard. You see all these ones that we are cajoling people to pray. I see people come to me. Eh, you are praying five hours. But that prayer you are praying is not formed on knowledge. You will stop doing it. But if you know that your prayer is for destiny's sake. Oh, somebody is not hearing me. Let me tell you. After God gives you that car, what will you be praying for? You move to the next. It is going to take a vision that is bigger than you to remain in prayer. Oh, somebody is not hearing me. Somebody is not hearing me. So those who work with God on give me, give me, give me, give me. I'm not surprised. That's why when we were in school, some of them dropped. After we finished from school, they were on fire in school, but they are not on fire again. Because the whole essence of their work with God was just for temporal. When it was one member, some of us were preaching like this. When it becomes one million, we will still be preaching like this. Listen, church members is not why we are following him. Are you hearing me? So if you follow God only for earthly things, you will miss him. But if you allow God to fill you with visions that are bigger than you. I see somebody here. You will have a name. As they are mentioning Dangote, your own will be greater. How many of you watched the video of Pastor Bimbo Dukoya's son? Recently, Jimmy. He said he went to an airport and asked for international passport for his daughter. And they needed it urgently. And he said, as he entered somewhere, somebody told him, oh yeah, go inside. As he entered, they pushed, they said, girl, go out. Then the person asked him, did you tell them the son of who you are? Hey! It means that when you enter a place and you refuse to put the name of Jesus, they will bounce you out. Whose responsibility is to add Jesus to the equation? Is somebody hearing me? He said, as he went back inside and said, I am the son of pastor and late. The mama don't die, tete -o. But you see, that woman, God used her that it is not possible for the generations to come to forget her. As the person heard. Bam! They said, go and do it. Na, 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 na. Somebody here you are not waiting to use a name. You will become that name people will be using. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet.